Okay, we're back here. Um, I hooked everything up. I figured it'd be easy just to hook everything up and then walk you through what I did and uh, show you the detail. Um, a little bit easier that way. Uh, it's a little messy right now. I need to do some cable cleanup. Um, nothing is in its permanent space right now, so when the whole project's complete, it'll, it'll look a lot nicer and it'll be neat. But um, the controller basically tells you what you need to hook up in what order. First thing you need to hook up is the battery. And uh, so what I did is I ran the wire from the controller. It's coming down here to the positive terminal. And then there's the one that's going to the negative terminal. You can see I put those little uh, terminal um, connectors on the end. So it makes it a nice clean connection. Um, now because I went with the two 6 volt batteries, what I had to do is I had to use this little jumper cable and what it does is it, it goes from the positive terminal on one battery to the negative terminal on the other battery. And um, then you just use the remaining negative and positive to go into your controller. And uh, that's what they call a battery in series. So it takes the two 6 volt batteries and basically turns into one big 12 volt battery. Now the second thing that you need to hook up um, is the solar panel right there, positive and negative. And let me take you over here. This is the back of the solar panel. As you can see, the original cable that came with this one wasn't very long, probably about 16 inches, if that. Um, so I had to splice together some wire. Now this is 10 gauge wire. I don't know if it was the best choice to go with. It's a little rigid. Uh, but I have eight feet to play with here, so I can uh, at least position it a little bit, and who knows, maybe I'll replace it with something uh, a little bit better in the future. But um, we are in the house, but let me go ahead and flip this over and just prop it up against the chair. Hopefully that will stay. Now, come back over here, and as you can see, the solar panel light came on which means that solar panel is getting sunlight and it's producing some albeit probably very little electricity but it's working uh, lastly what I hooked up was the inverter um, again I just have it sitting here on the side I'm gonna mount it nicely inside the box I'll screw it to the side I'll probably have to cut some holes inside of this box just to the cables to have access but uh, here again you have a positive jumper and a negative jumper and uh, that's what I like about the 6 volt batteries because it actually has two posts so it makes it a little bit easier to hook up um, and uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, turned it on green light got it working and I just hooked out up one of my outdoor speakers and Let's go ahead and check it out. Nice. Running on green power. So that's it. Um, some of the things I'm going to do in the future, uh, like I said, I need to put an exhaust port with a fan. And I'll probably do that in the back here. Probably uh, cut a hole here and put a little PC uh, 12 volt muffin fan. Um, I'll probably put a piece of uh, 3 quarter inch plywood as a base on the bottom so I can tie down the batteries. And then I'll just get a, a few clamps, tie up these cables, and then I'll, I'll probably mount this perhaps right around here. And um, then I'll be able to close the system off. And uh, not sure what I'm going to do with the solar panels. Since I want to be taking this to perhaps barbecue competitions, uh, camping, and uh, when I'm not on the, on the road with it, use it in my shed to uh, power various power tools. So I'm probably going to want um, to somehow install some poles, maybe drill through the lid on this and into the plywood base that I make 
and uh, maybe put a couple panels up on poles and uh, make it tiltable and adjustable to uh, chase the sun. So that's it. Um, hope this video was informative and uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any tips or advice on how I can improve my setup. Thanks.